Hi, how are you? Hi, Alex. I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Thanks for um, you know letting um, letting us know that you got a job offer recently. So, being honest with you, I have not no information at all. So, just a background that I I, I know that I'm aware of. So, uh, Daria, you joined the program and uh, automation key program and completed it three four months ago. I'm not sure. I completed it in September. September right mm -hmm. now right now is uh, february okay so it's uh, it's quite uh like a four or five months i guess yes but it was tough especially with that uh you know end of the year there are not that many uh there are not that many positions but right now beginning of the year we got this huge news <laughs> with the big companies firing the people and i know there are like many other people who are looking for an IT job right now, they worried about that. So it's more than interesting to hear what's going on, how you got the job offer right now, and what was the challenges uh, and et cetera. Okay, uh, so yeah, uh, it took me almost five months uh, to find a job. So first I thought it's because of the new year, uh, you know, like, and I was actually, it was really tough because, um, uh, it was so, uh, uh, there were so many denials, uh, and uh, I just want to let everybody know not to uh, get depressed because of that. Uh, you will receive denials. You 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 will fail on your first interview for sure. But uh, my advice is to keep going uh, and just uh, keep trying. So um, I was like sending applications, maybe like uh, ten, fifteen applications a day, mm -hmm. uh, just. But um, one trick uh, that I found uh, found out, and I think it helped me to find a job, I was applying uh, directly uh, for some positions, not using like third parties. I was applying directly on, on their like career website. For example, like T-Mobile career website or like right. any other company that you might be interested, interested in, you can apply directly. So to me, I, I got a lot of response when I applied directly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but uh, mostly I used LinkedIn for sure. Uh, I was mm -hmm. applying and like, uh, yeah. So I had total, I had six interviews that I failed. Uh -huh. um, different companies, I, different companies, different companies, different Same companies. Different. And, uh, but I spoke to like thousands of recruiters. <laughs> Uh, I had like thousands of phone interviews with recruiters. Uh, some of them, oh, actually one more thing, like they, sometimes they tell you like oh we're so excited like let me call you tomorrow and they will never did uh, they, they never did so it, it's normal so to me it was like what like it's like you're a professional you can't do yeah, it yeah, yeah. then i figured so that's their thing like they they can tell you they can promise you but then you're waiting because you're so new and then like they never call you and it's like such a disappoint uh, disappoint but it's okay again uh don't worry. So uh, to me, I just like I told myself, like, I have to keep going and trying. So I had six interviews. Uh, some of them were very, very, very tough, mm -hmm. uh, especially because uh, to me, not even like technical questions, because I was always prepared. Uh, so mm -hmm. for each of my interview, I was always prepared. I tried to read a lot. I tried to rewatch the videos. I tried to, you know, like reread materials that you gave us. So a lot of stuff. But um, uh, to me, the difficult part was uh, communication issues with uh, people who were interviewing me. So especially when the cameras are off it's really stressful like when you talk to a black screen it's it's very stressful so interviews is, is stressful in general but when right. you talk to a black screen it's even more like frustrating mm -hmm. so that was the challenge for me because i like to see like people's emotions and i like to hear like responses and replies it was really difficult so like interviews are not that tough to be honest with you i mean especially for me i don't know why i was like if i didn't know the answer i would just say i'm sorry i, I don't know how to answer so like mm -hmm. but only one interview was really really tough and i got frustrated uh and i 
didn't want to continue. And I said, look, I'm sorry, I, I just don't want to talk to you because they gave me a very difficult task. It was mm -hmm. like, to me, it was like a task for developer level yes. type of position. And I said, like, so I think it's like a, a task for developer. He said, uh, so I said, I'm not a developer. I'm applying for a QA tester. Mm -hmm. And he's like, but you have to know that. I said, no, I don't. And uh, so, yeah, it was kind of like, I think he just didn't like me for some reason. I don't know. Sometimes but, happens, yeah. yeah, it's maybe he, they had somebody else in mind. So, but I just, it was bad interview, very stressful. I, I got upset. But other interviews, they were so nice. People usually are so nice to you. Uh, and uh, so the seventh interview uh, was actually a win. So, uh, and I was prepared. It's actually a, uh, so since I live in Denver, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a Denver post news. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice. So it's media. Uh, it's really, really huge company located in Denver. Mm -hmm. So their QA team and developing team, uh, they all like work across the country. Mm -hmm. So, but their headquarters uh, are in Denver. Mm -hmm. So the job is 100% remote. Mm -hmm. uh, the interview was absolutely amazing. Like they, it was three rounds and they actually skipped the third one and they called me with an offer after the second oh, wow. one. Yeah, it was like, it was very, very cool because they said like, oh, we decided to skip a third round with you. So we just want to offer you a job in our company. And I was very, very happy because it's 100% remote. It's full time job, uh, full benefits. That's what I was looking for. And uh, the great. full time. W2. Yes. Perfect. W2 full time. Yes. Yeah, so because. I was a little bit skeptical about contracts uh, mm -hmm. because, you know, it's always risky because I still have my full time job here. And it's like, you know, it's kind of risky for me and, and there's no. Stability. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, well, um, I got that offer and just I'm going to I just going to say a little bit more about interview that I had with them. It was really amazing. Uh, they never asked me any technical questions uh they only ask me like behavioral questions they would ask mm -hmm. me like how do i uh like uh cope with stress um how do i manage time like of course they ask me something about it because and uh amazing thing the the, the position that i applied for and finally got a job it's actually everything you uh were uh telling us like java okay. selenium Mm -hmm. everything that we were studying in your courses mm -hmm. that's what they do and this is amazing because i actually know <laughs> all that and to me it was cool because if if they ask me if they were asking me something some questions like related to selenium yeah. i would answer them because i remember them from the course and i was mm -hmm. studying from your materials and yeah so it was such a uh, I think luck and uh, also like they were absolutely nice people, uh, big team. Uh, and yeah, so I finally got a job and they perfect, paid perfect. just amazing. Hey, um, Daria, let me ask you a few questions. So tell tell a little bit about the background because like, uh, you know, there's ba basically some graduates that used to have some background in IT, which is easier to get a job sometimes. But there are graduates who never had any kind of IT background in the past, and they basically started from you. So what what is your story? Did you have any kind of background before? No, I don't have any IT background whatsoever. So uh, I'm uh, actually I work for medical field, and I always have been working for medical fields. Um, it's just uh, yeah. So after your course, I felt very confident and uh, very um, you know like I I. I I believe in myself that I can do it. And um, yeah, so I, I have no background, but yeah, so. Perfect. And and I remember that your friend recommended the school and you, you reach out to me directly, I think one day, and then you got enrolled to the program, to the group. Um, perfect. Hey, I um, wanted to ask you a very, very, um, you know, probably one of the top questions from the from the people who are looking for the job. 
because we are showing the numbers during the webinar sometimes you're showing some numbers during you know during the calls um if you don't mind sharing the the, the number you got and um that would be amazing if that's okay yeah yeah that's fine it's uh 98 98k wow that's that's perfect plus i guess bonuses um i i think i left i i, I are you still here daria Oh, oh yeah no, yeah i can see it now the video was a little bit frozen so 98k and there are some bonuses i guess all all the companies that require would would apply for that number as well plus i i guess some maybe kind of 401k kind of stuff like that some perks hey i i don't want to ask about the perks because there are plenty of other videos for the graduates who, who were sharing the, the perks was there any 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 like kind of specific perks that surprised you or just regular standard standard list actually they have amazing thing which called unlimited pto i've never heard that before so uh they uh politics are like they believe that uh, when employees have unlimited pto they more motivated and uh they're willing to work uh without pressure so knowing that they can actually take uh, like a holidays or like day offs uh whenever they want so i think it's uh it surprised me because i've never heard of it before so mm -hmm. yeah that was kind of cool news when they mentioned that i'm like what is it actually real but yeah so it was pretty cool yeah that's um you know i never have worked in a company with that unlimited pto but uh being honest with you that's something that would for for most of the like not most maybe some people it would mean that there is no pto at all for others people depending who's your manager if, if you have a good relationship with your manager obviously you can take the days off without even thinking about the numbers how, how much did you how many days before you got during the year or how many you want to take more but yeah that's 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 a really really uh great approach and i'm really happy for for you and you getting that job offer um a few questions if you don't mind about the school and the program um i i remember you you were one of the best students and um thank you uh yeah how how how, how tough was that because you were you were studying the programming language and there are like obviously questions for from the people who are thinking about getting started like hey uh, is it too technical am i gonna do that am i gonna be able to do that and how much time do i need for that and um we noticed with you you know since since recently i think um after after your group we changed the approach so it's it's even less stressful right now we have six months and only one lesson to complete a week so it's oh. way less <laughs> stressful right now we have like every live session every every week there used to be three sessions right or two sessions a week a, a lot a lot of stress to the students right now it's way less stress but even with that with that schedule that we used to before with your group how, how was it for you tell tell a little bit more about the program experience maybe so yeah the when i started actually it was three uh days a week so it was tuesday thursday and um uh, sunday so uh yeah to me um it wasn't a big issue because I mean, yeah, when you have full time job and I have a little baby, uh, so it's um, I thought that would be uh, tough, but honestly, it's not. It's only like two hours uh, a day that you have to study and listen for lectures and then just do your homework. Like to me, it's just you have to be consistent. Uh, you have to just uh, do your homework, um, uh, maybe study like I was studying some extra, you know, like um, after classes you know just to read some materials to watch some videos but overall uh, the program is i mean it's it's something it was something new to me and of course it was difficult i can't tell like oh it was so easy no it was it was tough sometimes because it's something that i've never done before mm. but again um actually uh, like maybe some people they might think like oh like four months and then i'll get a job for like 100k like uh, it's not real it is real it's it's possible it's real and when i actually started your course and when i completed it i was 100 percent sure that will i will find a job so 
even though I do have some gaps and uh, of course I need uh, to study maybe more, mm -hmm. I mean, during my work, right? Because they probably use like different uh, tools, different, right? Similar to what yeah. we got in the school, but different little, yeah. Yeah, but like after your courses, it's enough to feel confident. It's enough knowledge to pass interviews and enough skills to uh, actually uh, get a first job. So sure. that's for Cool. Thank you very much, Daria. Anything you want to share to, you know, people who are thinking about getting started, feel free to do right now. <laughs> Maybe wish them good luck. <laughs> Anything you. you think you have in your in your mind, feel free to, you know, if you have any ideas right now. So because this video is going to be looking, the people who are like thinking about getting started with us are maybe not sure about spin career who because you know obviously you for like we have a lot of students right now who come in by referrals same as you did but there are some people who are just found us in the internet in google or somewhere in social media and like they they want to know if that's like a legit school if we are doing our job if we're responsible so just um you know if you want to share anything regarding that and to prove that feel free to do that right now yeah so uh yeah, uh, everybody who thinks uh, to join uh, the Spin Career School, uh, it's actually going to be a very great choice of yours uh, because uh, the school is way legit. So, and what I actually respect is uh, you guys are like, you respond to emails, text messages, calls. Uh, because to me, it's very important because I, I, I'm a full-time employee. Uh, like I have very busy life like everybody else. And to me, to get like a response right away, it's very important. So uh, your team and you, um, you guys do it perfectly. Uh, your uh, school materials are uh, very nicely um, uh, created. So uh, very easy to understand, read, uh, know like, like after after your lectures i didn't have moments where i'm like oh my god i have to like rewatch the videos like ten thousand times no very easy like very like logic everything was um you know like simple you know and yeah your team and you uh you guys are doing amazing uh, job and thank you so much because your guys are changing uh people's lives that's for sure thank you very much Thanks, Daria. Yeah, I think we're done. Thanks for that uh, feedback. Let me stop the recording.